Hey, Star Wars fans! It is almost the premiere of The Force Awakens, or it's already after the premiere of The Force Awakens, depending on when you're watching this. I'm making it the day before, and I want to show you how to take a lightsaber picture, even if you don't have a lightsaber. And you don't have to use an app, you don't have to use computer-generated software. You're going to be able to do this with good old-fashioned analog stuff, similar to how they shot the original Episode 4, which you may know as A New Hope. And uh, all you need to make a picture, well, first of all, the picture, Let's go from this sad, pathetic, no lightsaber guy to this powerful and commanding holder of a splendidly glowing lightsaber. And how we do that? Well, let me show you. All you need are cocktail straws. These are those little stir sticks you can get for like coffees or uh, adult beverages. And they're translucent most of the time. Sometimes they're red, sometimes they're white. I found these at Williams Sonoma. They just happen to have a whole bunch of them sitting around for like their free espressos. And I saw three different colors and I thought, well, these look like lightsaber colors. So here's what you do. Basically all you're gonna do, and I'm gonna tell you real quick how you do it, and then I'm gonna show you how to do it, and then we're gonna recap how we did it. You take this, you hold it in front of your iPhone or whatever smartphone camera you have, using the flash mode, you take a picture with this force perspective in front just a little bit, and you pretending to hold the lightsaber. All that does is basically the flash will expose this very brightly and then the actual background will be a little dark. We'll post that and make it brighter. And all you do is, well here, I'm going to show you right now. My assistant is going to take, here you go, very good. I'm going to go with the green lightsaber and uh, she's just going to hold it right out from the top. You want to do it from the top. And I'm going to, oh, you know, first I need a, a pretend lightsaber. For this, we're using this uh, wine bottle opener. So all sorts of fun things coming in handy. So I'm pretending this is my lightsaber. And she's going to work that into the shot, and it's going to look exactly like it's ready and coming out of the top. And right now, she's about, I don't know, six inches away from the camera. And then we're just going to take a flash picture. Wait, first let me strike a pose. <laughs> and then, as you can see, the results are a lightsaber picture. Very easy to do. You can even... If you're dexterous enough, and I'm not going to force you to hold two of these at the same time, you can even have these kind of crossing in the photo if you have a person, you know, right around here and right around here, and make it look like they're battling. And uh, it's always going to go off the camera. It's always going to go a little bit higher because someone's holding it off camera. The trick is, once you're done with the photo, you want to make sure that you boost the shadow detail because it's probably going to be very dark behind the lightsaber because the flash is going to expose for the lightsaber slash straw. So what you want to do is you want to just go into your photo editor and you want to boost the shadows as high as you can. Then maybe boost the exposure a little bit too if you're using an iPhone, that's what they're called. Android apps, whatever app you have, that's what you're looking for. Bring up the dark parts, keep the light parts the way they are. And uh, then post it on Instagram. And I think, I haven't looked at this, maybe it's a hashtag already, I'm not sure. Saber straws, hashtag saber straws. Yeah, I like that, saber straws. So hopefully there'll be some new ones out there and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Very easy, very fun. You can even do it with your action figures if you want. You're going to have fun.